It's a novelist thing. I have a keen sixth sense. Clearly a lie. You only came to check on the New Year's preparations. Oh, the common folk. It's are you. <laughs> no, that's an excellent question, and the answer's hilarious. I'll call your publisher and tell them every embarrassing thing you've done since you were four. Is it true that you're best friends? You and Shigure? Us? Best friends? Well, that's what Momiji said, but, but maybe he was wrong? I'm stuck with him, that's all. <sighs> Thank you for volunteering, Doc. You're such an excellent driver. Happy, I told my editor the truth as instructed. Was that so hard? <laughs> but who's going to keep me entertained now? Hey, I'm bored too. I see. It's because of Kana's wedding. Maybe this is his way of looking out for me. You like it? It's revolting. Valentine's chocolates from yours truly. Okay, you're right, I lied. They're really from Toru. Idiot. It's your fault for squirming around like a child. Get out of here, both of you. You're disturbing my patient. You're no fun, Hattori. Party pooper, duck hari. So sad. It's why you get hurt, why you endure needless suffering. He's right. Nice guys get taken advantage of. That's rich, coming from the two of you. It's all a ploy to torment your editor. Ah! Hey, John, just come back to the office for now, okay? It'll be fine, I promise. I know. I'll call Aya. <laughs> call him and you die. <sighs> You'll find someone else to love. Someone who doesn't bring you pain and sadness. A woman who brings you joy and hope instead. Well said, Gure. How'd he kept poking him over and over again? True, but that was on purpose. You sadistic fiend! Ayame doesn't get it. Not even a little. He's not the only one, Hattori.